It's because, wait, I know you're looking at this from a neutral perspective. But the also, MPs, but also, the MPs may not be seeing this like all other Kenyans. What do you see, Faith? Um, like any other Kenyan, I, I think government cannot shoot, um, have its cake and eat it at the same time. So if government in itself is saying that they are stopping the distribution because they have realized there's a problem, you cannot come again and say that it's not government, it's, it's the cartels that are trying to fight us and uh, have realized that this program is working. And the second question, if you're saying that it's a big business, are you giving it for free, you see? If you're also selling it, then you're also joining in the same market and you should be subjected to the same market um, requirements and uh, you should be held accountable as well. Because if you have distributed any of, of this uh, fertilizer to the farmers, then you also have to account to the people of Kenya because if you've used government public funds to get this um, fertilizer out and it's found, there is no way that you can now come back. It cannot be gainsaid now that um, this amount of uh, fertilizer, someone else intercepted. The buck has to stop somewhere. So if this fertilizer was being distributed by government, they must take responsibility. I think um, we must stop as a nation to, game, uh, to blame each other or try to find re um, excuses for what we do. I think there, there needs to be a point that the CS and the PSA this is wrong, we, have, we are making amends and we'll ensure that we, we replace um, whatever fertilizer to the different, farm, uh, different uh, farmers that have since received the wrong fertilizer. Own up to your mistakes, take responsibility and chart the next way forward. It, it does not help this back and forth because the reality is you have a responsibility to the people of Kenya. And those are public coffers that you can also be held accountable. This is just stage one. They're forgetting that um, there are actors in, different actors in this industry who will still come after them. It's not a matter of uh, throwing back and forth, it's who, it's who, it's. And once the government has made that statement, you cannot come back and tell us that you come and show me, take me to any government depot. That is your responsibility. You cannot throw it back again to the people of Kenya to tell them, you come and show me which depot. People have raised you and cry you've, you've uh, made a decision, stopped that distribution, investigate, hold whoever is internally responsible, hold them to account because we see this game blame and then no one is held accountable. So meaning it comes from the very top. Whatever um, rot is in this um, process comes from the very top because when we don't see action being taken, the thing will take time to investigate then. So unless somebody comes to sue the government on the, on the same we shall not see anyone being held accountable. So I, I think let's be... Are you contemplating suing the government on this? I have not said that I'm contemplating suing, but um, we will make a decision as the law society. Okay. But the reality is we, we must take responsibility. It's high time that we accept when mistakes have been done, yeah. take responsibility, replace fertilizer that have since been distributed to those various farmers that have been affected yeah. and find the best way forward. Okay.